Hey guys, and welcome to another Discord rewrite tutorial. So in today's video, I'm not going to be writing any code. I'm just going to be showing you guys how we can upload our bot to something called Heroku uh, so that it can be hosted for us completely for free. And that means we don't actually have to run this Python script on our own computer. We can just run it off of a server that uh, Heroku is generously letting us use for free. And then it will always be online on our server to show you quickly. Uh, you can see I'm in PyCharm right now. And I mean, you don't have to believe me, but I don't have any other Python processes running on my computer and my bot for my actual discord server is currently running. Uh, and you can see, oh, you guys are just looking in the logs. That's fine. Uh, if I go to bot.commands, like people have been using this bot and it works uh, and everything that we've coded works completely fine. And it's running not off of my computer, off of a server, and it doesn't go offline unless like there's a, an error that pops up or something like that, right? So anyways, that is uh, what we're gonna be showing you how to do in this tutorial. So our first step is, well, we need to get to Heroku, okay? So this is, I'm gonna leave all these links in the description and this entire instruction set will be on my website. So if any of the, um, what do you call it? Like the commands I use it or stuff, like you wanna copy them rather than typing them out, you can just go to my website, website techwithtim.net and they'll all be up on there. So anyways, I've already created a test bot, but what you're gonna do is when you go to Heroku and you can just do this by either clicking the link in the description or just searching it up, uh, you're gonna click here and you can see I have two bots. So this one is actually the one that's running uh, on my Discord server. This one I just created. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign in or create an account if you don't already have one. Um, I don't think I need to walk you through doing that. You're gonna click on new and then create new app. Now it's gonna ask you for a name. Make sure you remember the name that you use uh, and it has to be unique. Now it's gonna ask you to like add to pipeline. Don't do that, just I'll show you here. Just literally make a name and click create app and that's all you need to do. Uh, to create a new app and then we're going to go through what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so then you're going to go to open your app. It should already open up something like this, okay? Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to, uh, what is it? Deploy. Now it's going to say, like it's going to give you some instructions on how to deploy your code to Heroku because essentially what we're going to do is we're going to upload this to Heroku and then we're just going to have like a command that runs and it's just going to keep continually run our Python script for us so that we don't have to uh, run it on our computer. So we're gonna do, uh, do this using Git, but what you have to download first is this Heroku CLI. So I'll actually, I'll leave the link here for this in the description as well. But if you go and you're on here, just click this little thing here, this says Heroku CLI, and then download that, install that, run through that. Make sure you say add to path if it asks you to do that, cause you're gonna need to do this in the command prompt, okay? So once you're done that, uh, so pause the video, do that, and then come back to what I'm about to do right now, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have to uh, get into our directory where our Python bot is. So this is the directory that mine's in. It's in desktop, Python, Discord tutorial. Now you can do this from CMD um, by just like CD uh, desktop, CD Python, CD uh, Discord tutorial, and that's fine. Now you're in the directory, but if you want an easier way to do this, or it's like really far, what you can do is just go up here and type CMD in the actual name of the directory. So in that folder, and it'll open up one that'll automatically be uh, the correct directory. Okay, so once you do that, what we're gonna type in is Heroku login like this, okay? Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna pop up a thing that says something like this. It's gonna say, press any key to open up browser to log in or a uh, queue to exit. So you're just gonna hit enter whatever key you want. And now you'll see that it brings me to my browser and then you're just gonna click log in. And there you go, it should just automatically log you in. Uh, if it asks you to type in your username and password, obviously do that. And then what you can do is you can close that window and we can come back to the command prompt and start following the next steps. So essentially what we do now is we have to set up a few files and dependencies for our project. Cause essentially this is gonna upload to like a Linux server um, and it's just gonna read through all your files and look for certain files so that it knows what to do. So essentially the first thing we need to do is actually um, create a something called a proc file. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna tell um, the server what file you want to run, uh, like what Python script, cause you could have multiple Python scripts, right? So to do this, we have to make sure we're in the directory. We're gonna type echo like this, and then this little, uh, what do you call it? Like greater than sign. And then we're just gonna type the name of our file, which is gonna be proc file like this. So P-R-O-C file, okay? And just hit enter. Now you shouldn't see any output here, but if you go to, uh, we'll go back to that folder here, discord Python, uh, discord tutorial. You should see now you have a file with no file extension that says proc file. So right click on this and edit it with either notepad plus plus that's preferable or notepad. And then what you're going to do is uh, one second. Sorry, it's opening up in my other screen here. 
I think I can drag this. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. So it's going to say echo is on. All you need to do is delete that last line, the second line, come here and type worker. Okay. And then Python colon log dot py. I think, oh, I might, I messed it up. So it's, it's Python log dot py and you put a colon right before or right after worker hit save like that. Don't give it a file extension. Just leave it as like a blank file not a txt or anything okay so worker python log.py um is that what i named it no i named mine bot.py i don't know why i'm doing log so bot.py and this is going to be the name of the python script you want to run so if you named yours like discord bot then you have to put that there okay so now we have that so now we have that inside of our directory now we have to create one more file in here which is known as the requirements.txt file now this file is going to tell us what packages that we need to download to run this bot because obviously this doesn't work on native python this works using um, like that discord rewrite package. And maybe if you guys use pandas or numpy, you're going to need to put that in your requirements.txt as well. So to do this, we don't need to do anything in the command prompt. Just go in your folder, click new, and then click a uh, text document like this. Okay. Now you need to name this require uh, ments.txt. Now make sure you spell requirements, right? I know that's going to sound stupid, but I spelled mine wrong the first like five times I was trying to upload this and I ran into mistakes. So requirements, uh, I think that's how you spell it. So we'll do that. Okay. Now we're going to open up this txt file and in here we need to uh, paste a few things. So I'm just going to actually paste them and I'll talk about what they are and what ones you guys might possibly need that are different from mine. Okay, so I'm going to paste these right here. Now, I know this looks kind of confusing, but essentially these are just everything that it's going to run pip on. So it's going to run pip git dot this. It's going to run pip pineapple version 1.3.0. It's going to run pip pandas, pip DNS Python, pip async timeout. Now, the thing is, you might not need all of these. Like async timeout, I think, automatically comes with Python, but I want to make sure that it's the right version for Python 3.6. So that's why I define 3.0.1, uh, right? And same thing with pineapple. Um, Actually, I don't think this one automatically installs. So if there's any packages that you guys knew you had to install using pip, make sure you put them in your requirements.txt folder, uh, like pandas, you need that one if you're if you're using that module. And like you could put NumPy uh, or any other one. Now I will just say quickly, if you guys are trying to use an external database for this, that it's gonna like upload to that database, for example, uh, MongoDB, that will not work on Heroku. Uh, unless you pay for like the extension. So just a warning there because I tried to do that and I was running into a bunch of issues. But anyways, requirements.txt, you need minimum this one. You're probably going to need DNS Python or you're probably going to need Pinnacle. Other ones you add in at your own discretion. Okay, there we go. So now we are almost set up to actually create a what's known as Git repository and now upload this to Heroku. So we have these. Um, I would actually recommend you delete this .idea file if you don't need it, if like you're in, uh, what do you call it, PyCharm. So I'm going to delete that. And now we'll go back to our command prompt and we'll start uh, the next few commands. And actually, sorry, before I do that, I just forgot. We're going to add one thing to our, our bot here. So I hope you didn't close it, but go to, uh, let's see here, settings. And you're going to go down to where it says build packs. We're going to add a Python build pack. So to do this, we're going to do add build pack. We're going to go to Python and we're just going to save changes. And that is essentially, that's, that's all you need to do to add the build pack, just so it knows we're going to be running Python. I think it will automatically detect anyways, but to make sure we're going to do that. Okay. So now we're back in our command prompt and what we need to type now is I have to look so I don't forget. So we're already logged into Heroku. So we're now we're going to do git init. Okay. So initialized empty git repository in this folder. All right. So essentially what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be, um, placing all of these files that we've been working into this git and we're going to be pushing that git to Heroku and it's going to run the git. Uh, and run all those files. Okay, so now we've done that. What's the next step? Okay, so I'm just gonna copy it in so I don't mess it up. Uh, but we're gonna type this: Heroku git colon remote hyphen a and then name. Okay, so name you guys have to change this to whatever the name of your application is. So mine is testbot three four five. Okay, so I'm gonna do this: uh, hyphen a testbot three four five. And yours is gonna be whatever name. Obviously, you named it. If you have colons, make sure you add colons. Okay, so we'll do that and hit enter and set git remote heroku to this okay perfect awesome next step we need to do this we we'll do git add dot now this is going to add all the files in our current directory into that git so let's do that there we go you shouldn't see any output for that if it works and there's no errors you're good okay next is git commit all right hyphen am and now in here you just have to type anything like anything you want in quotation marks you're going to say well what the heck why because when you commit something, you just have to give a message. So I'm just going to say, uh, cool. Okay. 
uh, get is not, yeah, it wouldn't be get, would it? It would be git. Okay, so we'll type git commit hyphen am cool. And then five files changed, and then it should go through all this and it say what it created into the git, okay? So awesome. Now our last step is to push this to Heroku. And once we push this to Heroku, um, we should actually be working and we'll check and make sure that everything's fine. So to do this, we're gonna do git push Heroku master, okay? And hit enter. And then you should see output like this. If you're not, you did something wrong, go back and check. Failed to push, what's the issue? Remote rejected, master, master, pre-receive hook declined. All right, give me a sec, guys. Okay, so essentially the issue was the fact that this requirements one before uh, this text file, sorry, in our directory here, I had this .txt extension, so it looked like requirements.txt.txt because it adds the extension afterwards that we can't see. Uh, so that was the issue, so I just have to remove this .txt hit enter we're just gonna have to recommit to our git uh re-add these files this actually is good because it's showing you like if you ever change anything this is the way that you recommit and re-push to heroku so imagine that worked fine and now we change something we want to recommit well what we do is you do git commit hyphen am whatever message you want okay nothing to commit that's just because i already committed and looked at it but you should say like changing deleting whatever and then we're gonna do git add period okay now we're good now we can push to heroku so uh, git Heroku push uh, master git push Heroku master now I don't even remember what it was git push Heroku master okay let's try that everything up to date that's just because I already uploaded it but you guys should go through this and it should work I apologize for that mistake but it's actually almost kind of good because now I'm showing you how you can re-upload stuff and look at it okay so now that is there let's actually see if this is working and let's look at some log files and stuff. So let's go test server. Uh, okay, so it's not up yet. So let's see if we made any mistakes uh, like in our logs. So essentially, if that doesn't work for you, what you can do is you can go, you can look at your logs by going Heroku uh, logs hyphen A, and then wh whatever the name of your bot was. So I don't even know what I named mine. Test hyphen bot hyphen three four five. And let's see if that pops up the logs, and we can have a look. Okay, so awesome. So it says deploy release. So right now it's build failed. That was that was earlier, but right now it actually worked. So let's go to Heroku and let's turn this on and and get the bot running. Resources. Okay, there we go. Sweet. So now we just have to actually turn this on. So we have worker python bot.py. Um, so that showed up. I didn't just add this in. So let's go to this edit tab. Let's turn this on. Let's hit confirm and let's pray that this is going to work. Okay, so now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna hopefully see in like 30 or 40 seconds that this bot turns online. So I'll fast forward and wow, would you look at that? It's online, okay, sweet. So now it's working, so let's try like, hello. And then we get high back and there we go. Our discord bot is officially on Heroku. Now last things I'm sure you guys have probably already clicked off the video by now But if you want to see uh, how to look at logs and how to manually run stuff on this Heroku server What you can do is you can do Heroku hyphen uh, or Heroku logs hyphen a so like whatever I just typed so test bot 345 hit enter and then it'll run the most recent logs for you so it'll say like what was created and if you want to see the tail logs because sometimes it doesn't do it you can do logs hyphen hyphen tail and it'll show you the ones at the end and let's see and yeah so it goes through and it'll show you the logs uh, and you can have a look so if anything like failed then you can see that now if you want to run bash on your um, server and like manually run Python scripts what you can do is you can do Heroku run bash and then hyphen a again the name of your bot so uh test hyphen bot hyphen three four five okay it, it should just take a second to run bash and then if you wanted to manually run a python script you can type python the name of the script and it'll run it for you on the server and it'll give you the output as well uh so for example i do python and then I ran bot.py this actually won't work because my bot's already running but you could do that and then it would run that uh Python script manually for you when you're done you can just type exit this is like a pretty simple Linux command um, and it'll just get out of that bash for you so anyways that has been how to host your bot on Heroku as always if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me on discord or in the comments below if this video helps you out please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in another one